Hey everyone, this is a special video on aperture and shutter speed. It is designed for those who have an instant box camera, but actually aperture and shutter speed is in regards to any type of photography. So if you don't have an instant box camera, it might also be for you. On our instant box cameras, we have an Indostar 135mm lens with an aperture of 4.5 to 16. So what does that mean? The aperture or f-stop defines how wide the opening on your lens is. So 4.5 is the widest it opens up and 16 is the smallest. So when do we use 4.5? When do we use 16? 4.5 is when we don't have a lot of light available. So actually the opening has to be wider open. It also means that we don't have that much depth of field. That means sharpness of the foreground and the background. So let's say you want the lens here when you photograph being sharp, but the backdrop should be blurred, you would choose an aperture like 4.5, or this one has also 5.6. If you want the background in focus and the foreground, you would choose an aperture of let's say 16 or 11 that gives more depth of field. But if you use 16 or 11, that means less light will come in, so you will need more light. And in terms of our instant box cameras, we have sort of the challenge of using photo paper and not film. That means the ISO is very low and we need strong light. So using aperture 16 or using aperture 4.8 or 4.5 in this case, will really depend on how much light you have available. Now these lenses don't have a shutter. A shutter is basically a mechanism that allows for light to come in and out of the camera. In our case, the shutter is the lens cap. And we decide with our hand movement how long the shutter is open and closed. So that we have to measure with a light meter. To calculate how long my shutter speed has to be here on the instant box camera, I either use a manual light meter, measuring the light that comes towards my object, or I use an application on a phone, which is very cheap and very handy. Here I can have settings of aperture. This is what we set on our lens. I can have a second setting on ISO. That is the light sensitivity of our medium. ISO defines how light sensitive the medium we photograph on is. So for example, if you buy a roll of film, you buy a 100, a 200, a 400, an 800 film. So that defines how light sensitive that piece of film is, how many silver halloids there are on a black and white film, for example. Photo paper is not designed actually for use in a camera, so the ISO is very low. The paper I use is around three. I will have a special video on papers and their ISO. So I'm setting ISO three, aperture 5.6, because I can set that here. And the light meter will give me the time I need. So I focus on my subject, I press the button and it tells me two seconds. That would mean my shutter speed is one, two seconds. To be precise with that, I have a timer. So that's shutter speed and aperture explained on our instant box camera. 